Hi, I'm Mindy. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a book review for Boys in the Valley by Philip Fricassi, which is a coming of age religious horror novel that is really, really scary. I received a copy from Net Galley, so thank you to Net Galley and the publisher Tor Nightfire for providing a copy for me to make this review. And Boys in the Valley will be published on July 11th by Tor Nightfire, so I highly recommend checking it out. Let me tell you a little bit more about it. Boys in the Valley is a novel taking place in the turn of the century, early 1900s, in a remote orphanage, a home for boys run by priests. A lot of this is a coming of age story involving the main character, Peter, who is one of the orphans, a 16 year old living at this home for boys and it goes into his backstory as well as a lot of the other kids' backstories and the day-to-day -day struggles of living at this home and Peter is being trained to become a priest and work at the home once he turns 18 and he's also trying to decide if he really wants to be a priest because he's met this girl on a farm where they get their supplies and he really likes her so it's kind of a decision if he wants to keep living at this place that's pretty much all he knows or if he wants to find out <laughs> what else the world has to offer. The stories, Peter's story, the stories of the other kids, they're really touching, they really feel for them, and don't want anything to happen to these kids, which is a problem because one night, late at night, the sheriff shows up with his deputies and a man who is really hurt and they think he's possessed and they come to the orphanage for help and things go really wrong really quick and as soon as the action kicks in it does not stop this is a horror filled story for the entire second half The beginning is all heart and the end is all gruesome. It is a possession story and probably the the, uh, the scariest one I've ever read. If you can't handle reading about harm to children, this is an orphanage full of children and there's a possession going on so probably one to steer clear of. However, if you love a fast-paced horror novel with very high stakes, no one is safe, um, this is the book for you. I really enjoyed going on this wild, terrifying ride that Peter and the other boys at the orphanage have to go through, and this was a five-star read for me. If you are a fan of possession or religious horror and coming of age this is definitely a must read one to put on your radar for july coming out Gi july 11th tour nightfire boys in the valley is definitely a hit i believe it was it was already published just a small run uh, by Earthling Publications in 2021 
and now it's getting a wider release and I'm really really happy about that now everybody can read it and check it out let me know if you've already read this book since it has been released before or if you're planning to pick it up and I will be back very soon with another book related video thanks bye